Today, I would like to clarify the incident, the unfortunate incident that happened yesterday here at Leilon area um, around 425. It is believed to be around 425. Uh, as you could see, that area, which is called Singzam Chirang, uh, where the CRPF as well as the state MR are seated. But even in their presence, the state sponsor Arambay Tengol, the Meite terrorist, with their sophisticated weapon, which I will show you the proof in the video wherein the Arambay Tengol flag is reflected, as well as the sophisticated weapon. With the help of that weapon, they shoot us, they fire at us, and then the, their targeted place is the relief camp where children, mothers are put for their safety. But in contrast to that, they always provide false statement in front of the media. Now, this happened in front of the CRPF and the state force. In front of them, this happened. But here, the Leimakong area, the Leilon area, we have the Assam rifle who are the neutral force, who do not support neither of the community, but they stand for truth. But they always blame the Assam rifle for taking the first step. I would like to clarify that it is never the Assam rifle or us, the cookies or people who never attack them. It is the state-sponsored terrorists around by Tangle who always, who always attacked us in the first place. I, we have the proof, the video with the flag and with all the details in it. Now I'm going to show you the place where their sophisticated weapon hit a relief camp. I will take you to the place. I will show you the detail. Now, this is the area where the bomb hit. We're talking about the sophisticated weapon which is used by Rambai Tango, and this is the area where the bomb hit. Just imagine if this bomb would have landed in the relief camp or in the church, how many lives would be lost? The main attempt of the state sponsor, Rambai Tango terrorists, is to kill all the Kokukizo people. Now, right in the front, we have a relief camp, and besides that, we have a church. So what is the point of using that sophisticated weapon and then throwing it here? The main reason is to kill all of us. This is an enough proof for the central government to know that the state sponsor, the state government is trying to kill all the cookies or people of Manipur. These are the pieces of their sophisticated weapon which are found around the area. When everything is evident right in front of you, how many more proof do we want? Why is the national media always blaming the cookies or people? Why is the national media always blaming the Assam rifle? When the Assam rifle fell stands for its truth, enough, enough of injustice for our people, enough of injustice for our people. I want you to kindly go to the place where the bomb hit us. I want you to look closely to the relief camp that they try to attack. Hundreds and hundreds of people, hundreds and hundreds of students, mothers, children are here for their safety. Now I would like to show you the distance between the place the bomb dropped and the relief center. That is the place where I stand. I showed you where the bomb dropped and it's only 10 meter distance. We have the relief camp, which is the red uh, tin here. Now. Another thing I would like to highlight, we have our cookie zone house, a family with children lived here, small children. So if this kind of attack keep happening, how are we going to survive? Are we not living in a democratic country? What is the central government doing till today? We have been shouting for justice. We have been attacked time and again. What is the central government doing till today? Whenever the national media say something, it's only about blaming the cookies or people and the Assam rifle. Now, with a proof, I'm standing right here. Whatever I said, we have the evidence, we have the proof. Now, the place where the bomb dropped, you could see the white flag there. And there is only 10 meter distance from the place where the bomb dropped and the relief center. And right in the middle, not even 5 meter, we have our house wherein small children, many small children are here. So what? prove more do you want the central government this is what i want to ask i am also a citizen of india why we are not getting justice we will fight for justice till we die i want the central government to intervene now this is the relief center that i was talking about i was referring to where the teen group that i was talking about this is the place where the cookies or mother our children take shelter a lot of them take shelter here and this is the place where the Meite terrorist attack. Now, the camera will show you that this is not an edited video. We will show you that the red roof that we showed you before, the camera will take you there and then.
Hey, hello. Now, one more thing I would like to clarify. We have this many people, our children, our mother, our brothers and sisters who have been displaced. We are fighting for our daily livelihood. We don't have, we keep thinking what we will eat tomorrow morning. And after we eat the morning meal, we, we, we start thinking about what we will eat in the evening. With this kind of trauma, does any right thinking citizens of India feel that we will have a drone bomb and attack on somebody, which is not possible. Look at our children. They don't have the privilege to go to school and study. They're part of education. Our Prime Minister of India said, Beti bachao, Beti parao. Look at all these children and look at our mother. They cannot even move freely. They cannot even run and they cannot go even anywhere. But we are still being blamed. We are still being attacked every now and then. One thing I would like to clarify to all the right-thinking citizens of India, we don't, we don't attack anyone. Whatever we did, it is in self-defense. I think under the constitution of India, under the constitutional law of India, self-defense is not a crime. Self-defense is not a crime. We only defend ourselves and we have the proof. We have the proof. We only defend ourselves. Now, the central government need to think what will happen to these hundreds of children. This is just a part of it. In many of our cookies or inhabited area, we have many children like this. We have many mothers like this who are fighting for our livelihood. We don't even have hospitals to go to when we fall sick. How many of our people have lost a life? Even my own father have lost his life because there is no medical facility. Still, you blame us in attacking somebody? We don't even have money to get those weapons. And today, whatever I'm speaking, whatever I'm saying today, standing right here, it is with the right evidence. I want the center government to think about it once again. Once again, we want justice. This is all I want to appeal to the center government. Now I will show you how are we taking shelter in this place, in this small place, hundreds of people, how we are living here. Please come. Please. Take a look at our mother. She's also struggling, struggling to survive and struggling for our daily needs. And look at our children. Every day we are struggling for our daily life. We are struggling for our daily food. And look at these innocent children who doesn't even know what is happening. But then the trauma that they've been through after the bomb attack yesterday, that is something which will they will remember it for their life. Now I'm going to talk about the second incident that happened last night. This is the place where we were attacked last night. This is all the houses, Akuki inhabited areas. So we are, I'm going to take you to the place, the bomb that they threw on us, the place they fired. I will tell you in detail about all this with proof. These are our village boys. They will take us there. We have come to the second spot where yesterday incidents happened. So this is just 200 meter away from Singzam Chirang. Yesterday night, they fire a lot of bombs on us. It is not even a safe place for us to come here. But then, I want the world to see the reality. I want the world to know what is happening to us. So, they fired all around here. They fired everywhere. And I think we could see, we could see the bomb. The camera will zoom it, another bomb which did not explode. That is the one which they fired, which did not explode. This is something which can be seen but a lot of places there are these type of bombs which are everywhere our state forces are not allowing us to go the camera the media person to go there it can explode anytime it is very risky for me as well to come here but i want the world to know the reality and the love for my people has sent me here and one thing i would like to say that is we have the Assam Rifle, the Centre Forces here. Our volunteers, our people, our village boy. We never fire because we're not allowed to fire. 
We respect the Indian Army as always. We always abide by the rules and regulation. We have been asked not to fire back, so till today we did not fire back. This is something I would like to clarify to the world as well. I will take you to another location where the bomb hit but did not explode. This is our village boy, he will take us there. Now, this is the second place where the bomb hit. Their target is this place where our boys, our volunteers sit. Their main target was there. But then the bomb hit this, where again, once again, we're not allowed uh, by the state force to enter, but our camera will try to zoom it and show it to you. Now, our boys, our village volunteers, we're here protecting the village, but as it is not a safe place any longer for us, a center forces or some rifle has asked us to move from here. So this place is vacant. It is being moved. Our boys, our people are moved from here. And right above this place, there is a, a spot for the CRPF and the MR as well. I will take you to the place where the maker used to fire us. I will take you.